On certification, I would say yes, most certainly, but it's, it's, it's down the road. The question that would be asked is, who is going to do the certification? What are going to be the norms and standards? Who makes the decisions on these? And are we there yet? It's a debate we're having in South Africa, and we're not there. We just want to get people to be evaluators and do it. Most certainly train them and, and, and capacitate them and then move forward. Because these really are, are important questions, but it's these associations that are playing a fundamental role in building the capacity, even though they may not, they may not be certified uh, for, for various reasons. So it's something we look, look forward to in terms of the future. Who, who is an evaluator? I mean, uh, th this, is, uh, this has to be confronted. I've heard it said that uh, maybe where we should push is to have a sort of um, um, certification arrangement. I, I, so that um, at least um, we will not get anybody calling themselves an evaluator who is not an evaluator, and therefore bringing the whole profession into disrepute. And, and these uh, risks are there. Evaluation must be institutionalized because it is a function that will be challenged and it needs the protection and institutionalizing it will off, offer at a minimum level that degree of, of, of protection. Um, I think it will help to an extent in terms of ensuring the certain minimum standards. It will form the, it will fit into a management structure. There will be a level of authority. It will ensure there's minimum levels of accountability, transparency. It cannot guarantee that learning takes place, but at least the platform will be there for it. Uh, we discovered that prior to um, 2000, when m &E was not institutionalized and the PSE was just getting off, uh, it took place on an ad hoc basis, but people went out. There were people that were shooting evaluators, the m &E snipers. They said, well, what's your basis? Where do you come from? Mm -hmm. So you need that, that, that uh, protection, and I think institutionalization, uh, institutionalizing it most certainly offers it.